there's a lot of stuff on the internet about melting metal, particularly aluminum. Aluminum is a favorite. And there's a lot of people trying to make it simpler and simpler for people to get started. And I think I've struck on the simplest way possible. You just melt aluminum in a campfire. So let me show you how that works. I've got a fry pan here. It's just a cast iron fry pan. Rusty old thing we had laying around. The important point is it is shallow and wide. This is the kind of crucibles they used uh, when they first started casting metal. I don't know, 10,000 years ago or something. And I'm not digging a pit. Resist the urge to dig a pit. A pit is not going to help you. It's going to make you lose heat uh, because the air won't get in. So what I'm doing is elevating the pan so that the fire can get all around it. Here I'm loading scrap aluminum into the pan. We had a bonfire and just threw a bunch of aluminum in it. I tried to make a video of us melting that down, but it was at night so it didn't come out very well. By the way, you can use any kind of aluminum. I've heard of uh, a bunch of people using all different kinds of scrap aluminum. And they all seem to work, so I wouldn't worry too much about the source, whether it's cans, castings, extrusions, whatever. Just throw it all in. And there it is, your basic Boy Scout teepee campfire. If you don't know how to make a campfire, let's hope there's a video on it on YouTube. I decided at the last minute to try and make a foam model to actually cast something. I originally, I was just going to show you that you can, in fact, melt aluminum in a campfire. But now I'm going to try to make something. It's not going to work out. But uh, I imagine in an emergency you could use a hot knife and some scrap foam to make a model. So here we are burying our hastily made model in the sand. If you don't know about uh, lost foam casting, just look up lost foam casting. Uh, I will show us cast this, but nothing really came of it because we didn't make a well around the inlet to make the metal go down. But this is what I really wanted to show you. Underneath all that ash and charcoal, that's the molten metal. You can see how it's floating on waves of molten metal. It's, uh, it's an excellent way to melt metal. It uses a lot of fuel, and, uh, and it's hot. When you brush the fire away and go to get the metal, it is really hot in there. Now here we're casting it, and you can see the metal running off to the side there because we didn't well it properly. You'd also see there's still a bunch of ash and charcoal on the top. That's not a problem. It just keeps the metal from oxidizing. So there it is. You can melt aluminum in a campfire. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you for watching.